So you bought a range extender because your wireless network signal was just not covering your entire house or apartment. Uh, but how do you install it? Well, when you take your range extender out of the box, it will look something like that, which is pretty similar to what your router looks like. Uh, we have our router here and we're gonna pretend it's already set up and everything is already working with it and it's all great. And we have our laptop that is obviously connected to the router because we've been using it for a while now. Well, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to disable the wireless on the laptop. We have to do that first because at this point, we just want to interface between the laptop and the range extender. We don't want our router to get in the way right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect our laptop and a range extender. And then we're simply gonna run the CD that we got with the range extender. And that will take us through a setup wizard that will let us put in all the options and all the settings that we need. For example, what the wireless network name is of the network that this guy is creating or what the password is that's protecting the network. And then it'll also let us set up the second network because we're gonna be setting up another hotspot. So this guy will have its own name uh, and its own password. It could be the same name and the same password or it can be a different name but the same password. Any way you want, that's easy for you to kind of figure it out. If it doesn't come with its own CD, what you can also do is you can also open your web browser and it should automatically take you to a web page where you can set up all the settings that you need, just like you would if you had the CD. If the website doesn't come up automatically, I would contact the company, look in the manual, or look at the company's website to find out what the address is that you would need to go to to access and control the range extender's configuration. Once you're done setting up your range extender, all you have to do is disconnect it, and at this point, you can take it apart and just plug it in wherever you need to. If the configuration is saved inside the range extender, there's really nothing that needs to be connected in the back because the range is being extended completely wirelessly. So the only thing that this thing would need is power. So you can, at this point, try to set it up in different locations around the house and see where you're getting the best reception and best speed.